Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a typography scale so you can bring more consistency to your designs. That's for one. And second, to stop fiddling around with those font sizes every single time you're creating a new project. So without further ado, let's jump over to Figma. So as you can see for this project, I've prepared this file. If you want to follow along and if you want to download the file, you can find the download link in the description below or you can create your own one. You just need to add six headings and two body styles. So heading from one to six and then afterwards you have two body styles. One will be your main body. So that will be the main font that you're going to use across the project. And then afterwards, the small one is just the one that you use for small prints. You know, the one that nobody reads until it's too late. So in case you're wondering why we have six headlines and two body styles, this is not a random thing. It's not something I dreamed of and then afterwards decided to make a video about it. This is actually what most front end frameworks recommend when you design something. And also, this is something that is used by Google to rank your websites and web projects. So this scale and hierarchy that we're building over here is not only important from a visual point of view, but also from an SEO point of view once the product is live. Now, the quickest way to generate our scale is to use tools like Typescale. So if we go on typescale.com, you will see that this website actually helps us to create the scale. The only thing we need to do is to make sure that the base size is the correct size. So if you want to use, for example, 14 pixels, you can use 14. But in my example, we can use 16 pixels. And also what I do suggest if you're just starting out to make sure that the base size is somewhere between 14 and 16 pixels. Now, it will depend a lot on your fonts that you're using, but most likely most of the time the number will be either 14 or 16, depending on the font. Now, in terms of selecting the scale, this all depends on your project. So, for example, if you have like a dashboard design or something that has it's a bit more information heavy, then you will probably pick something like major third, minor third or even major second if, if it's very, very, you know, information heavy. But if you're creating something more abstract or if it's more design focused and you don't have a lot of information that I need to show, like, for example, a digital agency website, then I will go with either a perfect fort, either an augmented fort. So these are kind of like the two main scales that I will personally use to create something a bit more abstract. So now for our example, let's go back to a major third. And once we have our scale generated, the only thing we need to do now is just transfer it to our Figma. So for example, this one will be our body. This will be our H6, H5, 4, 3, 2. And if we need an extra one, we can just add this plus button over here and we can add an extra heading. And the safe, same thing goes for adding a lower one, but although you're not going to need one. OK, so what I've done is I simply split my screen. I will just copy these values to my scale. So I'm going to start with the body, which is 16 pixels. I'm going to add here 16 pixels. Make sure that this is set at 16 pixels as well. Then the next one is 20. And now I will do exactly the same thing for all of them. A few moments later. And that's it. Once we have this done, we can just close our type scale, make this bigger and that's it. Now, if you're not aspiring to become a quant or a mathematician, what you need to do is to create some styles with these fonts. Otherwise, you're just going to need to remember these numbers and just put them in every single time you're creating a text. So to create a style, what you need to do is to select your text and afterwards go here, click on the add button, just create style and just write here H1. This is personally what I do. And then I give it like desktop. And this will be my first style. And then I need to do the exact same thing for the rest of my headings. And this is it. Once you have this, you're ready to start designing. And let me show you why spending 10 minutes before starting any project will actually make a huge difference when you will start to design. So let's say, for example, we want now to start designing something. So we're just going to create a new frame. We're going to select the desktop one and we're just going to add two texts. So the first one, let's add a text there. As you can see, it's very small. Then afterwards, just copy and paste this one. And I'm just going to grab some lorem ipsum text and just add it here. And now, for example, if we want to start to create a paragraph, the only thing we need to do is just select the text, select the appropriate heading that we want to use. And that's it. We can start designing and we can start having consistency across our design because now we don't fiddle around with numbers when it comes to text. We already know what those numbers are and we already have styles for those. And then you can play around. You can have this, for example, you might say, oh, this title is a bit too big. Maybe I should use an H2. Then, OK, maybe 
that's a bit too big as well. This is an H3. And then you can start designing and use these across your design. So that's why you should spend five minutes before any project to set this up. So it will make your life a lot easier. And also your designs will look a lot better, trust me. And with this being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care.